of this and then the government of Cameroon is saying nothing to this situation. I am back home, this is my house. And I am saying that let the government produce my child. They should give me back my child in a normal condition. My name is Nzalen Bomke Ivolin. I am from the Northwest region of Cameroon. It was on the 13th of April, 2023. I took my child to a Bomi hospital, Kribi, for vaccination. She was given yellow fever vaccine. She was nine months, three weeks. Immediately after the vaccine, she became unconscious. She was then rushed to pediatric gynecology hospital in Douala where a series of tests were conducted on her. After everything, doctor came and told us that her brain is damaged, she is blind. In fact, the child is paralyzed from head to toe. We were so frustrated. We were so broken in heart. My husband left and went to Yaoundé to the Ministry of Health. He cried out to them, please, this is what has happened to my daughter. You people should do something. Oh, my husband and I brought a proposal. Please help and take this child abroad. Following the proposal my husband made to them, the government of Cameroon said, yes, okay, we will do something. After four months of serious pressure to them from my husband, they sent us to India. They told us that as we arrived in India, they are going to send the money for the baby's treatment. We stayed in India for one month. They did not send us any money. No, no accommodation. No feeding. We were living at the mercy of the hospital. They treated our child for one month without seeing one franc from the Cameroon government. After one month, the hospital said, No! Tell your government to send this money. The baby needs this money for her treatment. The child's condition is so good. The brain damage is so much. It's so severe. This child needs a long-term treatment. My husband started writing back. He even wrote to the ministry of, to the minister of health. To the immunization department. Crying out to them, what is happening? Please provide the baby with money for her treatment. Doctor is saying that this child needs for that treatment. After everything, the immunization department sent a token of money, which that money could not even go anywhere with the child's treatment. That is how we were abandoned, we were frustrated in India. We have to return back because there is no money. My husband does not have a job. There is no way it comes entering us. We were so stranded. My husband lost his job because of this. Our only source of income. He lost it because of this and then the government of Cameroon is saying nothing to this situation. I am back home. This is my house. And I am saying that let the government produce my child. They should give me back my child in a normal condition. This is the baby. Take a good look at this child. Look at this baby very well. If I am not there to support this child 24 on 24, 7 on 7, the child is helpless on her own. If I cannot support her like this, she will fall here. How are we going to do it? How are we going to start it from here? We are abandoned by the government of Cameroon. We don't have funds. My husband doesn't have a job anymore. I need my baby. I need my child in a normal condition. I need my baby. Good morning, good evening, house. Mama, sorry for what really happened with you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And the only thing that we will face, if we try to assist you, that's it. Now, only sorry. Ah, and the government that way, black legs. The detail we move still be with them. And the Cameroon government that way, they appreciate that every blessed day. More be with them. Anglophone get for be back with them. Black lady, they will come make all kind kind story for the whole place.
Ngong Dok, Kapo Daniel. Ngong Dok, Kapo Daniel. Listen very well. Na de, na de special state to that. We the cry am for we anglophones them. Ngong Dok, Kapo Daniel. Na de special state to that. Na de cry am for we anglophones them. All the black legs leaders. Na de special state to that. Na we assist that the cry. Cameroon government go take them from Cameroon. Fly to them, fly with them for Indian, abandon them because they be Anglophones. Ngong Dok Capo Daniel. Ngong Daniel. Listen very well. Listen very well. At the special stage that way the cry every day for your daily broadcast. We should just accept the special statute. Not denying that. Black legs. Black legs. Now, if you be really a black leg, where you watch this video, for this woman, he cried for the pain where this woman they go through. Cameroon is a shithole country. Shithole country. Shithole country. Shit, whole county in Cameroon. How in an anglophone, they abandon them for Indian. Well, may God be the glory. Brother, you talk fine, but you go end them uh, in a way where me, I don't like them. How if you say to God be the glory? Like, seriously, to God be the glory for the evil will the Republic they do. For this family, may we glorify God for the thing way they do. Say now God he will make this woman undergo this situation with this baby and the the, the husband. No, nah, no, nah, to me, to, to to God, God cannot be the glory of this. Now nah, lie. Me, I no accept that one. Now thing way the kiwi for this for this life. Plenty people them. Something good happen, you may we glorify God. It means say even this struggle, as then the make sure see me them for all man. For instance, Bazunya, move the glorify God because now the will of God. No, yes, if we want to follow that last statement, I don't do a write up. I say to all those who still believe that La Republic du Cameroon still have love for us. Make una take una I see the kind love with them they show to this family and to this mother. Make all of us say thanks to the head of state for his love and kindness upon this family. You don't explain them very well because they saw that she will be a problem to intensify her frustration. They have to send her out of the country. Let her go and frustrate there. Let her go far, far away. We don't need this kind of noise around us. That is the way we are to these people. They don't value us. The noise we have been making is nothing, means nothing to them. The noise we have been making means nothing to them. Just imagine, look at this woman. Is a mother, a sister, an auntie to somebody, a wife for that matter. Crying. She was thinking she was going for to, 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 to save the child, not knowing that she was going to donate the child for evil spirit to take control. That is it. That is the country that wants us to live in harmony with them. And we say. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Nothing and that this pastor there for on top leader. The, that leader pastor there. Nothing and that they preach for on a church. Hey. Ambazonia, wa mumu no too much.